All right, guys. I got Buddy with me. He is on his last week of training. He's been doing the four-week board and train with us. And um, uh, he's already had his first lesson with his people, and that went amazingly. And I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you how he's been developing and, and how much more confident he is and how much more understanding he has of everything. So um, at, the, at their eval, <clears throat> we went over all the basic stuff. We, take care, we took care of all the fundamentals. Like when I call your name, that's, that's me calling you to action for your new job, right? Because that's all it's about. So after we got through that, we did uh, the guidance part, right? Like so he would always freak out at the slightest uh, feeling of pressure, right? You could, you could reach over and try to touch on him and he would get... He would, he would accidentally leak a little bit because he thought that was, that was a scary thing that was happening. So he perceives everything in, in the world to be something pressure. Yes! Good job, boy. And um, so we had to show him that just because we were trying to guide you away from something crazy that you were trying to do, whether it's the jumping or running around and just like causing chaos and feeling really freaked out, yes! It, it, anything that you're doing that it's not ideal, we want to be able to com comment on it and, and show you, hey, that's not what we want. We'd rather you do this. It's better for us. It's better for you. And anytime you went to go and try to talk to him or try to guide him and tell him no and show him something else, it would be catastrophic for him, right? He would take it super personal and, and it would be perceived in a really, in a, in a wrong way. And, and you could be the nicest guy in the world, but he would think of you as, as the devil. So and this is a, just something he came with. He was astray. We don't know his whole story. And, and so we don't know why, but we had to help him understand those, those things are okay and that he doesn't have to feel that way anymore. Now we can have him do a lot of things, a lot of activities, and we can call upon those activities even in the face of something that would scare him or trigger him or make him bark or anything. So if somebody was to pop in through that door uh, in the past, he would definitely be barking and, and, and be worried about it. If that person came forward, he would either run away or pee or, or a combination of all of those things. So now in his new job, he basically understands like, hey, when I say buddy, yes. That, that's a call to action to do these things that we've been practicing. And those things come with a lot of positivity, right? So he knows that this job is a fun job. He'd rather do that job than do the old job of barking at people or, or panicking. Now, he's going to have feelings, but that's where the guidance comes in, right? So if he doesn't want to participate in the new job, I still have ways of helping him understand. I still have ways of helping him understand, like, don't go that way. Please come back to me. When you come back to me, that's going to be a positive, very good thing. Yeah. And he like understands that that place bed right there, that's a safe space. When he's on that, okay, he's on that. He's already doing a job for me. And that anytime he's on that, I will protect him. And that if he's on that, he's going to be safe. All he has to do is stay on that. And that's why that's a core part of our, 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 our uh, training. That's my guy. So you can tell, like, I really haven't given him any commands or done anything. And that's the whole idea of training. As you progress, the dog already understands and trusts the relationship. So basically, he's already willing. He already is ready to do his job. Do you know what I mean? So he's not out there looking for some other way to satisfy himself. He's not out there looking for negative things to do and get in trouble with. He's just like, man, I know we're gonna do this job and when I do this job, it feels good. We have a good time, you get proud of me. And honestly, he feels confident and then he has less reason to be reactive. Um, so I'm not really sure what I should show you guys, but um, <laughs> I think this in itself has been, uh, I hope it speaks a lot because um, if you look at the first video to this video, and everything else that it's we come a long way and right now if you can tell he's not wearing a leash right so that's a big deal he's off leash he's willing he's free to do whatever he wants and uh every choice he's made every choice he's made right now even though i'm not paying attention to him directly that even and he knows that and usually in the past he would just jump and jump and jump if you look at the videos you'll see so now he's just choosing on his own without any commands the right choices he, he knows like the, the rhythm of life with me now and us now. And uh, when his people came, they did a really fantastic job like adapting and understanding the concepts and then putting into practice. And they have another lesson coming up soon here. I don't know if you guys can see, but he is like rolling up on that couch right now. Um, but anyways, 
Um, he's done a great job. He's come a long way. His people are doing fantastic. And that's my buddy update for you guys. Okay, come on. Come on. Go place. Go. Buddy, go place. Got a boy. Super nice. Good boy. Okay. That's it. So that's the whole point of dog training is to have a dog that understands your communication. It's not something that you're going to do commands every day, all day, every time. But it is nice to have a dog that understands his job, understands he's doing it well, and that he is loved and he is a good boy. All right, you guys, I'm going to turn the video off from that. Thank you guys for watching.